of Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we bring you an inside view of the City of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yeetzee. In the top story for City View, we take you to the parking lot at City Hall, where the City of Columbia held the annual Mayor's Campaign Against Breast Cancer, Isabel Law Breakfast. Due to the pandemic, we were unable to host the breakfast last year, but with social distance seating and a drive through area pickup, this year's event was a success for all. For only $10, not only were you getting a to-go box full of delicious breakfast items like pancakes, eggs, sausage, grits, and much more, but you were also helping to raise funds for the Prisma Health Midlands Foundation's Bosom Buddies Fund. Thanks to all who participated and partnered with us for the breakfast this year and everyone who stopped by to support our efforts to support women affected by breast cancer. Another initiative that the city holds dear to our hearts is our annual Mayor's Walk Against Domestic Violence. For the second year in a row, we held the walk virtually and encouraged everyone to participate by raising awareness of violence in our communities by walking in your neighborhoods or in local parks. Please join us on Saturday, October 9th. Now you're here from at-large councilwoman, Tamika Isaac Devine, as she gives you more information about this year's virtual walk. Hi, I'm Columbia City Councilwoman, Tamika Isaac Devine, and I'm inviting you to join me for the 15th annual Mayor's Walk Against Domestic Violence. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we are unable to be in person this year, but we will still be bringing awareness to domestic violence this year. So join us on Saturday, October 9th for the Mayor's Walk Against Domestic Violence. Mask up, be safe, but more importantly, help us take steps to end domestic violence within our community. For more information about the Mayor's Walk Against Domestic Violence, now you can get involved virtually please contact Public Relations Media and Marketing at PIO at ColumbiaSC.gov or call us at 803-545-3020. Now we take you to downtown Main Street where the city hosted the sixth annual parking day in which parking spaces were transformed into parks for a day. We want to really you know, get people to try and think about all the concrete that's here uh, in downtown Columbia and try and rethink what we can do with that. It's not just parking, it's not just streets. You know, we, we want to try and uh, expand, you know, people's perception of, of, you know, open spaces and public spaces and what you can do with, with all this infrastructure that we have in the city. This was also the first year that we included a contest for the designs of these many parks. Congratulations to Quackenbush Architects and Planners for the 2021 Best Design Award for their uplifting flying car, and congratulations to LS3P Associates for the 2021 People's Choice Awards for their LS3P Beach. To view pictures of all of the different parklets, please look at Columbia Compass on Facebook and Instagram. Now we head to the Dutch Square Mall, where the city's Parks and Recreation Department hosted the 2021 Senior Jamboree. This was a free event for our senior citizens in which they could gain valuable information and have lots of fun in the process. It's our third annual Jamboree and it's an event geared at seniors 50 and above. It's an opportunity for businesses and organizations who target that market to come out and present their product or services to our seniors. It's also an opportunity for our seniors to get valuable information that they may or may not have known about. We have door prizes, uh, we have entertainment, we do serve lunch, and they get to put on their best Western gear and win prizes. At the Senior Jamboree, one of the items that was available for our senior citizens was information about the city's efforts to combat COVID-19 in our community. Every month, the City of Columbia has partnered with SCDHEC to set up free COVID-19 vaccination clinics throughout the city to protect you and our community from the spread of the virus. These clinics are part of the Mayor's It's Your Shot Columbia campaign to help inform million citizens of the free, safe, and effective COVID-19 vaccinations. To stay updated about upcoming COVID-19 vaccinations, please visit resilient.columbiasc.gov. 
the City of Columbia will soon open a new payment center located at 3000 Harden Street. Our management staff from our payment center and from customer care give you more details about this new facility and how it will operate and help our citizens. All right, so our customers can come to our new location and one of our customer service representatives will be more than happy to help them with setting up new service, reconnecting service, disconnecting service. Um, they can come in and uh, discuss a billing dispute and get assistance with one of our programs that we have available. And they can also report water related concerns as well. We have four customer service spaces that you can come up and make your payments, water payments, parking tickets, solid waste payments. You can come up to any window. And also we have four drive throughs that we did not have at Washington <laughs> Square. So we are very excited about that. The Columbia Apartment Zone Incorporated also announced a new addition recently. Former CEZ Inc. board member David Dunn has donated a business suite in the Arsenal Hill neighborhood. The CEZ Inc. held a special ribbon cutting ceremony for the suite and welcomed in the first tenant, Van Robotics, which builds interactive tutoring robots for early childhood education. We are thrilled and beyond excited to be part of this. We are so grateful to David Dunn for this amazing gift to the Columbia Empowerment Zone and this feels like a graduation to a really important next chapter in our company. So we're thrilled to be able to share that with everyone here today and especially um, to, to really honor the space that David Dunn has donated and where really amazing things um, really were born for VC3. So thanks so much. We appreciate the gift and we appreciate the opportunity. In our final story for this episode, it is with heavy hearts that we have to announce the passing of two of our Columbia Richland firefighters in September. We're saddened about the loss of Chaplain Billy Lee Bright and Battalion Chief Joseph Casey Desso, who had more than 35 years combined service of preserving the health and safety of our citizens. Especially in the threat of this current pandemic, we would like to thank all of our public service personnel who unselfishly served their communities with unwavering bravery and dedication to protect our citizens every single day of the year. Well, that wraps up this edition of City View. Thank you for watching and for staying engaged in our city. To watch more of what is going on in the city, please tune in to City TV on Spectrum Channel 1301, Roku Amazon Fire TV, and our YouTube channel. Please continue to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also visit our website at columbiasc.gov for more information. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia. <laughs>